my man. You gotta follow me. Jesus, Nico, there's more of the bastards arriving. You go if you give them up. <laughs> I'm screwed either way. If I don't give you the diamonds, you kill me here and you take them. I do give you the diamonds, Mr. Bogarin kills me later. I don't nobody having them. Screw all of you. Yeba no isto. You selfish piece of cock sucking shit. Sucking piece of shit. Shit, I don't want to spend another minute in this crap hole. Let's get out of here. Jesus Christ, why did that moron have to throw the ice away? It was just plain selfish. There's always one who ruins it for everybody else in the class. You're telling me. We would have let him live. He could have walked away from there. Instead, he's fucked and the diamonds are who knows where. A lot of people are going to be upset about that. My brother Gerald is going to be one of them people. There ain't much that could cheer him up now that he thinks he's doing serious time. But this is really going to piss him off. It's going to be a nice thing to mull over. You know, while he's staring at them metal bars for the next decade or so. A guy like Jerry can still do stuff in the joint. He organized this kidnapping shit, didn't he? Can't be the only card he's got to play. Fuck, he wasn't too chipper the last time I spoke to him, and he's gonna be a long way from chipper when I tell him what went down. If I can get what went on straight in my head in the first place, that is. Okay, so we exchange Gracie for some diamonds that raves them. Then some Russian turns up saying they're his, then everything goes to shit. That's about right, isn't it? There's nothing right about this situation, but that would be an accurate description of what went down. The Russian is called Ray Volgarin. I worked for him on the Adriatic. He thought I stole from him and he came after me. I had to leave Europe because of him. And they were his diamonds? I don't know about that. They're nobody's now. The only thing that makes me smile about this shit is that Volgarin does not have the ice. Piece of shit does not even stay at the fight to see the outcome. Just leaves his boys to clear up. We was outnumbered, Nico. I can see how he thought it was covered. This is not the first time he has assumed that I would be killed by some of his employees. Hopefully one day I'll be able to teach him his lesson by putting a bullet to the back of his head. You're not meant to say what you wish for out loud. It won't come true if you do. That rule even works for wishes as cheerful as yours. That finally judges women purely on their true merits. The Liberty Tree says this That's moves yes, feminism into a different century. Nobody's a better hoe than me. All you hookers is dead. America's next top hooker. Coming soon to CNT. Can reality TV ever get any better? The only radio show guaranteed to get you something. back, do you?
Nico? That was a whole lot of effort for no fucking reward. Story of my life. It is the story of a lot of lives, Becky. I'm getting used to hearing it. See you, Nico. I gotta go break the news to Gerald. At least I'm gonna be on the other side of some bulletproof glass to him. But you know what? I'm still fucking scared. Good luck. A typical Liberty City asshole.
You really do. Are you disappointed that I have not found and killed you yet, Dmitry Raskolov? Do not worry. Your time will soon come. I went to the sewage works on Charge Island. I picked through the bodies, and yours was not amongst them. Very disappointing. I'm sorry. Or maybe the thugs who failed to kill me should be blamed, though. I cannot believe that you would steal from my friend Ray Bulgarin twice. First in Europe, and then these diamonds in Liberty City. You are in debt to him, Nico. Why don't you just pay him what you owe, and we can all get along? I have no debts to Bulgarin, Dimitri. And the only thing I owe you is a bullet to the temple. You will be paid in full. Fear not. You have a sharp tongue, Nico. It is only a matter of time before it is cut out of your mouth. Goodbye. Can I ask you a question? Yes, you're really hot. Mrs. Recently Divorced, Guys with Eyes on Stocks, $500 Shoes. Excuse me? I gave you a lift a little while ago. We met late at night. You were pretty wasted. Shit. You're joking. No. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I have to stop combining drinking with those sleeping pills. That keeps happening. <laughs> well, no harm done. Well, thank you. Listen, I know it's a lot to ask, but I don't suppose I could ask you for a favor. You couldn't run across town and get me something, could you? It's just that we've got a fashion shoot later. Do I have to? I'm kind of on my way. Typical, so. typical fucking man. When I'm drunk and you think you can feel my breath up, you'll do anything. But the minute it's daytime and I ask a normal and reasonable favor, it's fuck you, Sarah. You've got a vagina. Why should I help okay, you? Okay, okay. What do you need? Just collect a box for me from Perseus off Pyrite Street in Bismarck. It should only take a minute. Sure. <laughs> Angel. Bring it to Pier 45. Please make a U-turn, we're safe. 